I am at Exponent 2024 with Florian, brand developer of Clarisus Audio, and Mike, distributor of Clarisus Audio in North America. Gentlemen, nice to see you. Hey, nice, nice to see you. see you, Ron. I know that this auditorium in front of us is a new and improved version called the, Audio, the Auditorium Plus. Yes, that's correct. Tell us about the difference. What has changed? Well, the primary differences are that now all of our drivers are 100% identical. So you have double-sided bass panels, double-sided mid-range, double-sided treble. It's exactly the same driver, same motor structure, same weight, same distortion pattern. And we have now an improved dispersion pattern on the front for even better off-axis listening, as well as some um, very important mechanical changes that makes the speaker very easy to service, very easy to upgrade, and overall much easier to use because the impedance is also double as high as the previous one, which was already quite high of an impedance for a panel speaker. So what is the impedance of the speaker when you plug it into the amplifier? So 8.8 .8 ohm on the bass, 8 ohm on the mid-range, 6.6 .6 on the treble, and it never drops below 5.5 ohms, ever. So essentially, you can use any amplifier that you wish. It is really not that important how much power you have. Um, we even tried it in the beginning this morning with mm -hmm. a small Hegel H390 integrated amplifier for $5,000 and it filled this entire room with music. Yeah. What is the sensitivity of the speaker now? Well, it really depends on how you measure it, but between 88 and 91. Mm -hmm. What is the price of this new Auditorium Plus? Exactly the same price as the outgoing version. It's 146000 shipped, set up worldwide by our team of experts. And what is the way in which the driver is more easily replaceable on this model than the prior model? Well, our entire back structure has no magnetic covers, no more screws. You can take the magnetic cover off, take the modules out, put the new modules in, and you're good to go. You were telling me about a new model you're developing, the Hall. Tell us about that. Well, that's a biggie. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to use um, a new um, panel technology coming in 2025, um, exclusively to the hall. It's um, a four panel version, about 11 feet tall. Um, also as this, double-sided mid-range, treble, and bass panels, but you can have separate units for the mid-range and treble, different from the bass, so you can position them optimally to your room. What is the advantage of reformatting this loudspeaker into a four tower system? Well, the primary advantages are that for perfect bass optimization in the room, mostly the bass panel should be flat against the back wall. But you do want a little bit of toe-in on the middle and treble ribbons due to the dispersion pattern and off-axis listening. So by separating the units, you can place them perfectly within your room. He doesn't mean flat to the back wall, but he means to not towed in. Perfect, yes. it would be still be a distance out. Parallel to the, to the front wall. Exactly, okay. parallel Thank to the front wall. What differences do your ears hear between the original auditorium and the new auditorium plus with this new driver? It's it significantly better. The image height, the image clarity, a lot more decay. Like you're hearing so much more ambiance in a live recording. You're hearing more decay, more of the hall. But it, right away, it's just, it's even more coherent. Yes, okay, but, that is quite incredible, especially because, I mean, the original design already is as coherent as any high-end speaker you can buy on the market today. But now it is 100% coherent. It's not 8 out of 10, it's 10 out of 10. And so um, what's important to know is when you play a note, which is right across the crossover points, it's being played by both drivers at the same time. If the drivers are different, the same note will be incorrect, or maybe one's correct and one's incorrect. Um, and so on this speaker right now, it's absolutely impossible because all the drivers are absolutely identical. So you're saying the physical nature of the substrate is identical across the drivers? Absolutely, yes. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Enjoy the thank show. You. Hey, thanks, thanks, Ron. You too.